Hello and welcome to The Fix and today I'm going to be changing this um, this key fob here I've got. It's a Chevrolet key fob and if you can see the buttons are broken on it. So we bought this key fob case. Now I'm going to be transferring all the interiors from this key fob into this one. You can see on this new key fob it's got a screw there, a little Phillips screw. So let me just undo that. Uh, Phillips bit. Right, taking the little screw off there, I'll just leave that over there. I think if I wedge the screwdriver to get in there so I don't damage the plastic on the edges. All right, that bit comes off separately. And okay, now I'm gonna just prise it under there carefully. I should really be using plastic bits to split this, but you know, while I've got this here, okay. That's come off now. I'll we'll leave this like that so the key the springs on that side so I'll just open it up here we're not going to be using this um, key blade because I'm going to put the original blade in there otherwise we'll have to cut this one so I'll just take that out with the spring leave it there now we've managed to open this now we have to get the insides out of this one right, this one if I just pull that emblem off Oops. Right, on this one, we haven't got a screw there, so I don't know how this one, actually we might have to snap it off, so if I undo this bit first where the battery goes, okay, that one's off there now, got the battery, it's a, uh, right, this battery is a 2032, let me just see what the voltage is in it. 2.85 volts, so it's a little bit low. It should be three volts or over. So what we'll do, we'll put a new battery in it when we do it too. When we put it back together, we'll put a new battery in it. So now I've got to see how this comes off because this didn't have the screw to hold the cover together. So I'm thinking we might have to snap this away. Since we don't need this case, we could, you know, have a go at it doing it this way. What will we do? We can't damage the the circuit board, so okay. This one's being a bit difficult, stubborn to come out. Close the key there. It looks like this one has to be snapped open because there's no screws in there or anything. Just managed to snap that off a bit. And the circuit board is just close there so we've got to be really careful. anyway but since we're not going to be using this case all the thing we need is this circuit board and also we need this key blade so now that little springy bit there hooks onto there then I'll put this key on this way round since this has got the press button in it anyway what I'll do I'll take this off put this in here 
like so and then let's just fall it out so let's just stick this in there or Oh, hang on a minute, I think we'll have to get this in here first, so I think this goes in there, like so, and then we can put this spring in there, like this, and then we just slide the spring in there like this. If I press it, it should chuck the key out like a flick knife. I think that seems to be springing the wrong way. So if I just turn the spring around there, that's it. That's how it should go because it's springing open. So if I hold that there, then put this into place, put this cover on, clips on. Okay, that's in now. That's it. That's nice and strong now. Okay, now I'm gonna, since we, we checked this battery, this had low voltage, so I've got a new battery here. So if you check that, see that one's 3.13 volts. So we'll put this new battery in it. So we'll stick this battery in there like that. And then we put the cover on top. That's done. And put the screw on there. Okay. Yep, that feels fine. The blade's nice and strong. Let's see. Yep, that closes up and everything okay. Now we've just got to put the emblem on there. So I've bought, so I've bought a new emblem, so look, look, if you can see there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel back the, the, the plastic on the sticky back, really I should have a pair of tweezers for this but never mind. Now if I place the emblem in there like that, one edge first and then put it in and press it down. Alright, one key flop, fob done now. Now that we've completed the sop over of our key fob, this is the broken one that we took away and we put this, all the circuitry into this one. And look, it's all working fine, how it should do. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so you could get all the future videos of the fixed. And remember, don't jinx it, fix it. <laughs>